Hello, and welcome to North Eugene Space News. Here's our top story tonight. On April 29th, a private space company, Blue Origin, launched a suborbital test flight of the new Shepard rocket, launching 307,000 feet into the atmosphere. This test flight is just weeks after the Blue Origin president, Rob Myerson, announced that rocket test flights would begin this year. And this flight is one of our first looks at the rocket's capabilities. One of the main goals of the flight was to test a reusable rocket booster. However, the boost was lost in the flight. Still, this test flight is just first of many to come in months ahead. On May 20th, the U.S. Air Force will launch one of their X-37B space planes for an experiment to test the propulsion of a hull thruster. A hull thruster is an iron thruster used to maneuver satellites. The results of this test will be used to improve performance on future missions. This will be the X-37B's fourth mission so far and an experiment will be beneficial to future missions. On Tuesday, April 28th, a Russian craft delivering supplies to an international space station suffered a malfunction. The craft started spinning uncontrollably after detaching from the rocket boosters. And the flight controls were unable to regain control of the craft. So they called off the mission. The craft returned to Earth's atmosphere on May 7th. Disintegrating over the Pacific Ocean, the ISS is no danger of running out of supplies at this point. But getting these things into space is an expensive task. On Thursday, April 30th, NASA's messenger probe ended its mission to survey Mercury and collect data about the planet. The probe was launched in 2004, and its 11th year mission has given us important data about the planet Mercury, such as finding traces of ice on the bottom of deep craters. The mission ended when the probe was sent on a collision course with the planet and impacted the surface. On May 6, private space company SpaceX tested their launch abort system on their Dragon capsule. The capsule launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida, soaring into the sky demonstrating its abort mechanism. It then opened its parachutes and drifted into the water below. One. The test went as planned, and the Dragon capsule is one step closer to a manned mission to the ISS and possibly beyond. That's all for this issue of North Space News.